Hey everyone, welcome back to Windows Fixer. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a fix for a really strange issue I faced after installing the new 2025-08 cumulative update for Windows 11, KB5063878. The update itself installed successfully, but right after that, Valorant started freezing mid-game, the whole system would hang, and the only way to recover was by forcefully pressing the power button to restart, which is honestly the last thing you want during a gaming session. When I checked the event viewer for clues, I found repeated errors from the Microsoft Pluton cryptographic provider with event ID 57. Basically, TPM initialization was failing, and that was the root cause behind the instability. Here's how I fixed it step by step. First, I checked my BIOS version. Just press the Windows key, type system information, and note down your BIOS build. Then head to your motherboard support page. In my case, it was Asus Prime B650M-A Wi-Fi 2, and see if a newer BIOS is available. Mine was outdated, so I downloaded the update, flashed it, and rebooted. Inside BIOS, I made sure that FTPM was enabled under security and save changes. If your board shows Pluton options, you can toggle them as well, but mine only had FTPM. Next, I reset TPM from BIOS. That means clearing and erasing FTPM on next boot, which reprovisions it from scratch. After Windows booted, I opened PowerShell as administrator and ran one by one get TPM, initialize TPM. This confirmed TPM was working properly again. Then I refreshed a couple of services just to clear out stale sessions. I restarted WMI with restart service win McGammon and restarted the TPM provisioning service with restart service TPM provisioning service. <laughs> Finally, I also checked the registry, navigate to. H key, local machine, software, Microsoft, cryptography, defaults, provider. Now, if you see any sub keys for Microsoft Pluton cryptographic provider, go ahead and remove them. In my case, nothing was there, but it's worth checking. After completing all of this, the errors in event viewers stopped showing up. TPM.msc reported the status as ready. And more importantly, Valorant and Fortnite both ran smoothly without freezing. So the real fix here was updating the BIOS, resetting FTPM, refreshing related services, and cleaning up the registry if needed. If you're running into the same problem after KB5063878, follow these steps and it should sort it out. That's it for today's tutorial. If this video helped you, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to Windows Fixer for more easy solutions to tricky Windows problems. And if you have any questions or run into a different error, let me know in the comments. I'll try to cover it in a future video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.